Hey guys, it's Jonathan from G4 Guitar Schools in Blairathal. Today we're going to be checking out a song called Budapest um, by George Ezra. So to begin with, we're just going to go through the, th the three chords that are in this song. So we've got a G chord, a C chord, and a D chord. They're the three chords that are in this tune. So I'll just come in a bit closer to the camera so you just see my fingers. So we've got a G. C and D. Okay, if you haven't quite got these uh, chords yet, please check out uh, the videos uh, uh, in how to play those three chords. So to begin with, with Budapest, we've got an intro of four bars and that's just the G chord. So what we're going to do, just to get used to the form of the song, we're going to play the G chord for four times. So let's, uh, well, four bars, so four lots of four. Let's give it a shot together. So everyone holding a G chord. One, two, three, four. 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 So that there is just the intro. That's the, the, the start of the first chord. So we'll get into the the little tricky, um, a little bit later on. Okay, we'll get get to that soon. So what we're gonna do is just get used to the, the strumming the chords. So we're gonna then do, the verse is gonna be four, four bars of just G again. So we've got the, my house in Budapest, my, my hidden treasure chest. So that's four bars of G. And then when it goes to the ooh, ooh, that part of the chorus, the, the verse, sorry, we're going to go to our C chord. We're going to do two bars of C chord. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to go back to our G chord for another two bars. So let's have a look at that first verse again. So we're going to start with our G chord and play it for four bars, for so four lots of four. So ready? Three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One more time. One, two, three. Now to the C chord. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Now back to the G. So that's half the verse. So the first thing I want you to make sure you're doing is making sure that we're getting that G to C chord changing nice and smoothly. So if I just come in a little bit closer so you can see my fingers. So I want you to make sure that you're getting that C change and the G really smooth. So G. Once you can do that, um, then that'll be a lot easier for you to sing along with the, the lyrics. So the next part of the verse, we basically do the same again. So another four bars of G, and then two bars of C, with the ooh, 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 then back to G, and then that for you, ooh, that part repeats again. So we go back to a C for another two, B, uh, two bars, and then back to G again. Um, so let's put in that whole verse together. Uh, so that whole first verse. Ready? One, two, three, G. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, get ready for C. Three, four, C chord. Two, three, four. G chord, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Now start again. G, four bars. Two, three, four. Bar two. 
bar three. One, two, C chord, three, four. That C again. Three, four. Ooh, you. Ooh, I leave it G. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Cool. So that's the whole first verse there. Well done. So what we're going to do now is we're going to play it through and I'm going to try to sing it. All right. So you've got a rough idea of where the lyrics are sitting with the song. So my singing's not perfect, but hey, it'll be good enough for this. <laughs> so uh, I hope that you can sing it better. All right, let's go to the start of the verse. So starting on our G chord. Three, four. My house and board are past my, my hidden treasure chest. Golden grand piano, my beautiful Castillo, you see. I leave it all back to the G. Now G again. My heart aches of the land I have achieved. It may be hard for you to stop and believe. Now change to C. Ooh, you. Ooh, I leave it all back to the C. Two, three, oh, for you. So that's the whole verse. All right, so now we're gonna check out the chorus. So the chorus is when we go to our D chord. So we're gonna do um, one bar of D, one bar of C, and two bars of G. And then we repeat that. D, C, G. All right, so let's give that chorus a shot together. So starting with our D chord. One, two, Three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. G. One, two, three, four. G again. Go back to D. One, two, three, and C. One, two, three. Now G again. All right. So now that's. That's basically the, the the whole tune right there. So then we go back to the verse, do the verse, um, and then we go to the chorus again and play that twice. Then we go back to the verse, um, do that a couple of times through, then the chorus, and then back to the verse. So it's just swapping between verse and chorus. So that that makes it fairly fairly easy. So it's just a matter of remembering which part's the verse and which part's the chorus. So now what we're going to do is we're going to um, uh, give you guys a bit of a strumming pattern to make it sound a little bit more like the song. So what we're going to be doing with our right hand, with our strumming hand, is we're going to go one, two, and three, and four. So it'll be down, down, up, up, down. So if I've got that, that beat going, one, two, three, four, it's going to be one, two, and three, and four. 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 So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put that in with the G chord. And we're gonna just keep looping that until we've sort of got that, that feel of that strumming pattern. So it's a little bit tricky, so we'll give it a bit of a shot now. Ready? Three, four. One, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. One, two, and One, two, and three, and four. Two and three and 
So what we're going to do now is put it all together. So we're going to keep that strumming pattern going throughout the whole song. And then that way, that'll sort of line in nice and well. So let's go from the start. So four bars for the intro of just G. Then we're going to do another four bars of G for the start of the verse. Two bars of C, two bars of G, and then do it all over again. Four bars of G, two bars of C, two bars of G, and then do that C, G again because of the ooze. So let's give it a shot. It'll make more sense when we start playing. Ready? One, two, three, four. So that's basically the basic rundown on Budapest, just those chords there. Um, so the best thing to do is just to, um, yeah, recognize those different sections of the song. So the verse, and then the chorus. Um, and then once you've got those little sections down, you can then um, put it in with the song. Uh, bit of a warning for you, if you try to play along with the actual track itself, and he has tuned the guitar a full step down because he's using what we call a tenor guitar, which is a little bit bigger than the uh, usual acoustic guitar, and it's tuned lower um, to uh, half a step, a whole step down. So instead of the sixth string being a, an E, he's tuned it to a D, and so on, it goes down. but. You just play the same same chords when you tune tune the guitar down um, a, a full step, and then you can play along with the recording. If you've got any questions, please feel free to ask, um, either in the comments box below, send me an email, or talk to your local G4 guitar teacher. My name is Jonathan from G4 Guitar Schools in Blair Athol. Enjoy 